Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs, Jim Dedman. Hope you enjoyed today's video that I put together for you. We're always doing something interesting here in the shop. Stick around, watch the video, enjoy, comment. Thank you. I'm starting this, I was over micing it. So what we're doing is we need this to be about 900 this piece here needs to be approximately 920 thousandths, the best of our calculations. So this is inch and a quarter piece. slip right on, we'll drill it, and then we'll cut it off. And that about 940, let me check it. Yes, oh you piece. This stuff is flexible. And we want this to oh yeah we can we can stand to go. This is a this is something sort of like is injection molded and you really want this thing and if you're making these part of the reason the pipe don't work as well you might could if you would settle for like a half inch hole just a little more well, once I get this figured out I'll go right side down make the other ones for the same size. So that's good. See we're going to glue these. So it needs to be set up like that. So that's good. Now we're just going to back off, center drill it. And we're going to, we're going to take an S and D drill. I got one laying here. We're going to drill this. It's not going to be quite so hard to drill. several out of this one piece so we gotta kind of work with it there. You gotta love that. I know this is expensive. I would rather use pipes, but I have used it, but the problem is I make bushes. I'm going to make several, so that should be clean and deep enough. So, let me turn the camera off and get over and calculate how long we want this. This is just going to work out. This will be glued down inside the cup. So I'm, I'm not glued it, so it's not going to be sturdy, but I'm going to get a good darn idea of what I want here. And we'll clip it in there, hold it in there, and turn the cup upside down. It's kind of hard to do this and dry fit it sometimes, and the stuff don't fit good. There's a finger in there and hold everything. Put 
hanger there to hold it, hold it right like this, so we kind of pop the cup together and get a, we'll get us a measurement. Let me get my skate. I'm pissed. I'm squat it down. Let me cut this off a minute. I believe I've come up with what I want. It's basically, again, a lot of this stuff, is, if you, you know, each set of these cups are different. I've not used the same cup. These, I bought them on from a, a vendor on eBay. They're a Chinese product. And these were shipped directly. And this morning, I go to the mailbox. And I have an Amazon package. But I haven't ordered anything from Amazon. I've had this to happen before. Where we order stuff from Amazon or from eBay, an eBay vendor. So according to my scientific measurements, I'm around 975 right there. <laughs> This is more a matter of trying to get closer. That might be too small. I might cut it off far up. Excuse me. What happens when you get in a hurry? You just, this stuff has to... No, it ain't what you think it is. You measure it. Oh, it's 875. Excuse me. Okay. So I'm at 935. So that tells me I've got um, Slide right on. Does okay. Now I'm gonna drill this a little deeper because I don't think I'm an inch deep here. Then we'll pull it out to one inch and we'll face its tail off. Then we'll have number two made. And so forth and so on until I finish. This is the last one that's going to we'll go over to the bench and do the one. Now we've got to turn. We're going to put it back in and stamp it up inside the, over here on the lake. It's a little bit deep. That's fine. So now we've got four one inch long plastic Durling little Durling uh, slugs and so now all we're going to do is on these back ends we're just going to put them back in the lathe here uh, the, we've kind of deburred these a little this one doesn't feel like it's deburred good in the corner so we're just going to hit it and it feel right and we're just going to take this hand lever to it. Stick it back in there for the tip on it. And then we're going to rinse and repeat for the other three. Because this is the little piece, all this is, this is the piece that's going to be put down in the containers to hold the heat oil away. I hate using Durling, but really it's the best option. It's really hard to match. I was going to try it a different way, and you seem to. I got some pipe and was trying to experiment. It just won't work right. Okay, we're right here on the bench, and here's the cups. These are a little smaller, but you know what I'm doing when I'm buying the hood boy. My lids are super glued together on my super glue.
there's only to me there's only one good way to do this and that's the way I'm fixing to do it and that's the super glue and I've tried several different methodologies and this is, tends to be the best And it seems like when I mess with super glue, it gets everywhere. And then this container did not. Only a real good coat. Whoa. See, when that stuff, it, what happens with me and super glue is this. I get it all on my fingers, everywhere I don't want it. Now. And that will see it. That super glue will set right up right like that. Let's put it upside down. And that will glue. And that will bond in a, just a New York minute, I'm hoping. To get it to where it will set. So usually it sets really good right now. I'm going to turn these over. I'm going to put a little weight on them in here in just a second when I get them all glued up good liberal coat of it too because this is all that bonds the whole thing together is the super glue and sometimes with this stuff it's always fun because it's doing, never thinking it's doing what it's wanting it to Awful funny, it sticks like the crap on your fingers. And don't stick poop on stuff you won't stick it on. Like your fingers will stick together like all get out, you get a little on them. And, and these must all be a bit different. And now I cut these to fit that green one, which fit it like champ. Now I'm having all sorts of trouble getting get the containers done pop down around on them some, some of them's fitted better than others I might have to go over there to lay the touch turning these up now that one's bonded no it hasn't that one's bonded now, see they're not wanting to bond right quick so we're going to put more on them and the red and the green is pretty good these two Get them there bonded. I don't know what their deal is. These two here are going to have to go back to the lathe. I'll be right back. We'll put some weight on them here and let them set for 24 hours or so. And we'll let that glue completely dry. Those should bond really good. And so they should be bonding in this a little bit. Maybe it'll bond a little weight on them in place. Oh yeah, they're gonna dry up and bond now. They just needing a little bit of help. Sometimes it just doesn't work quite like you expect it to. It's one of the fun things about super glue. That I know of anyway, so we got that together. All right, I've, um, I've completed these cups now. I've, uh, these are the ones for the giveaway. These are just a shade bit smaller than what I'm using, but they 
they are really nice and uh, basically it, with this one inch down in it you can put a good bit of oil in it and it won't turn over so that's that's kind of the reason I could have went a little further but you really just don't get as much use out of them so now this I'm gonna touch some of the up a little bit so this is the video on the build of these cups the, the come in Again, if you want these cups, put down an email, email 500 subscriber drawing, because that's what these are for. That's that 500 subscriber gift that I'm giving away, complete set of them. So uh, this is a green one. So, hey guys, jump right on in there if you hadn't already sent me an email. Email address will be along here at the bottom. I'll put it in. It'll be all along this, email, all along this video to remind you of the, the correct address for the for the cups so these are the cups and they're sitting here waiting for one of you to keep signing up to win them thank you for watching today's video this is Jim this by the way I will remind you this is a copyrighted production of James Deadman Sawlogs Plastic Hubs for your personal enjoyment here on YouTube the other thing I want to do is quickly thank everybody that's out here, that's visited my channel, that views, that comments. Our channel is growing thanks to you, and I want to send you a sincere thanks. Thank you, and have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.